Have you ever wondered how a foreign body like an embryo with 50% of its genome from the father manages to survive in the mother's womb without being rejected? The secret lies in a structure called the syncytiotrophoblast. This little marvel is responsible for producing hormones, including one known as human chorionic gonadotropin, or HCG. By the end of the second week of pregnancy, enough HCG is produced to be detected by pregnancy tests. But that's not all. For the embryo to be accepted by the mother's body, her immune system has to change. It shifts from a cell-mediated immunity to a humoral or antibody-mediated immunity. While this change protects the embryo, it also increases the mother's risk for certain infections and changes the way her body responds to autoimmune diseases. So, pregnancy isn't just about carrying a baby, it's a complex immunological dance that ensures the survival of the embryo. But what happens when this carefully choreographed dance goes wrong and the embryo implants in abnormal locations? When the embryo doesn't find its typical place along the anterior or posterior wall of the uterus body, it can take up residence in an abnormal location, triggering a cascade of complications. Sometimes the embryo will implant near the internal opening of the cervix. As the pregnancy progresses, the placenta bridges this opening, a condition known as placenta previa. This can cause severe and even life-threatening bleeding during the latter half of pregnancy and delivery. But the perils of abnormal implantation don't end there. Occasionally the embryo plants its roots outside the uterus altogether, resulting in what's called an ectopic pregnancy. This can occur anywhere in the abdominal cavity, ovary, or uterine tube. A staggering 95% of ectopic pregnancies take root in the uterine tube, with the majority happening in the ampulla section. In the abdominal cavity, the blastocyst, the early stage of the embryo, often attaches itself to the peritoneal lining of the rectuterine cavity, creatively named the pouch of Douglas. The blastocyst may also attach to the peritoneal lining of the intestinal tract, or even to the omentum, a large fatty structure that drapes over the abdominal organs. Sometimes the blastocyst develops within the ovary itself, leading to a primary ovarian pregnancy. Ectopic pregnancies are a rare occurrence happening in only 2% of all pregnancies, but they account for an alarming 9% of all pregnancy-related deaths for the mother. In most ectopic pregnancies, the embryo doesn't survive past the second month of gestation and can cause severe hemorrhaging in the mother. While the journey of pregnancy is a beautiful one, it's also a delicate process where things can go wrong. Understanding these complexities can help in early detection and management of potential risks, ensuring a safe journey for both mother and child.